With the world opening back up and with the year that we've had, there's a lot of mixed feelings that are happening and that are going on. I was on my very first business trip this month and that was a lot of fun. It was particularly fun because I got to bring Stephanie with me and she's my right hand, she's my associate. And I didn't even realize this until we were midair going there. <laughs> <laughs> this was her very first business trip. It was a lot of learning, a lot of adjusting and pivoting. And that's been one of my favorite things to remind professionals of. We've been using that word too much in 2020. And it's a skill that you have now for been fortified with and that you now know how to do. Um, but it's something we do continually. And pivoting isn't just a constant pivot because if you do that you go in circles pivoting is an is an adjustment back and forth so we've had to do that we've had events this month which were so much fun and so rewarding. There were so many details that were part of that. I don't know about you, but I am always in middle school when I run an event or throw an event, every time. I'm um, circa 14 years old, seventh grade, inviting people to my birthday party and afraid that they won't show up. So there is this angst and this nervousness that is part of it, um, but we had, so many professionals show up at the Be Better Network, uh, Network Better event, and our sponsors were incredible. The facilitators put so much intentional work into this, and our speakers really enriched um, our participants, and that was so rewarding. We loved it, and it gave us so much to celebrate afterwards. I will never forget just kind of that moment of relief after the event. We were just like, oh, we did it! Um, and we drank some wine, and we celebrated, and we, we had a good time, and slept really good that night. So the, the event, the business trip, launching a academy for a client. Um, I am part of that board and a co-founder of Access Lending Academy and they just launched, we just launched um, the Access Lending Academy first class um, and that was really fun and very rewarding. So this go, 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 work really hard, uh, super intense, time didn't just end with personal events and um, and business trips and and endeavors but we also got the opportunity to be part of Sonoma County Women in Conversation and that was really cool because I have attended Women in Conversation when it was at the Luther Burbank Center and the Green Music uh, Center and just loved being part of that space and listening to women tell their story and during this uh, pandemic shelter in place they've pivoted. Brandella is the producer. She has done an incredible job at bringing voices together of women who are sharing their point of view on how they're experiencing uh, their lives at the moment and my segment specifically was around creating your calm which I thought was just ironic and kind of hysterical because the last thing that I would describe myself as is calm but it reminded me that you and I we all get to choose that for ourselves this isn't another competition this isn't another hashtag this isn't something you add to hustle culture this is something you get to create for yourself so for me I uh, was reminded how much I rely on connecting connecting with my team connecting with my girls with my friends connecting in my spiritual practice connecting physically you know by working out and being healthy um, and that all of that requires work that it's not easy which is something that the hustle culture kind of leads us to believe that you're just gonna hustle hard and it's gonna be okay it's not gonna be easy it's going to require work and dedication but the rewards are in and us really giving it the best we have and being really honest with ourselves and each other and being accountable to the things that are working and the things we still need to work on and just showing up the best we can. So May was also Mental Health Awareness Month 
and that mental wellness is not something that in previous years I've paid a lot of attention to particularly around the month of May but for for us this month it just came popping up everywhere we are much more intentional as a team and myself as a leader much more intentional about what it takes to be well and what that looks like for me and I want to encourage everybody I work with you my listeners to pay attention to what it takes for you and to not make that another uh, race and competition with somebody else it, it's okay if it looks different it's okay if it looks different from everyone else you know and it's okay to ask for help so may kicked my booty uh, I learned so much um, there were lots of wonderful successes there were some really um, unexpected failures as in um, bumping into my limitations and so then learning from that and I'm really looking forward to June because my girls are gonna be out of school and we have a river nearby and we're gonna get floaties and we're gonna float down the river and we're going to eat and drink and I may have a new kitchen sometime soon stay tuned for updates and then there will be cooking and friends and laughter and I'm <laughs> about that because that to me is what this is all about so work hard play hard and love life as best as you can even when it's like the hardest thing you've ever done